Hello everyone and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host Sherry and today we are on the family room floor because we are going to do a DIY. It is DIY Wednesday! Lately, we've been out in the garage, we've been sawing, we've been nailing, we've been miter cutting, we've been wood gluing, we've been painting. And now, summer is upon us. Where I live, it's fucking hot outside. I spent all weekend in the yard, tired of being outside in the heat. So, I brought it inside, and what we are going to do, because it's summer, and summer people are usually like, traveling and going places, me and 24 of my friends are going on a cruise to Mexico, and that is coming here pretty soon. I'm kind of the host of this trip, I'm planning everything for everybody. As the host, I do go over and above what I thought would be fun to make for everyone and then also for you to make for yourself or for you to make for friends, maybe you're planning a group trip, whatever. What we're gonna make today, custom DIY luggage tags. I know, it's crazy. It's gonna be very simple in my head. It's just paper, that's all, and a laminator. That's what's gonna make these puppies sturdy. And you know when you like travel, especially when you're taking a flight somewhere and you don't have a luggage tag and you're quickly filling out one of those horrible like ones that they just have in the bin or handwriting sloppy and people behind you are like, hurry up, you should have been prepared. My flight's leaving. Well this way, you'll always have your luggage tag, which you can make as bright and as fun as you want so that you can recognize your bag when it comes off the carousel because everybody on the planet has a black rolly suitcase. This way, with your custom DIY luggage tag, you will be able to spot your black rolly suitcase in an instant and you'll grab it and you'll be all ready in your Uber on your way to your destination while everybody's like looking at the handwritten luggage tags, nope, not mine, nope, not mine, you'll be able to find yours like super quick. So, how are we making it? What are the supplies? Well, I'll tell you. Okay, so the supplies are super easy. Your DIY luggage tag can be as creative as your imagination. What I wanted to do is make everybody's completely custom. We have 24 people going on this trip. I actually went to the Dollar Tree and I got these really cute letter stickers. I was, you know, contemplating like, oh, I'll print everybody's last name initial out. No, 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 no. I went to the Dollar Tree and I got these huge strips of pretty gigantic stickers. They weren't in the sticker section in like the stationery they were in. You know where they have like the stencils for walls? They're almost like wallpaper stencil things. That's where these were. And they have a bunch of different styles of letters. I liked these because they were fun and bright. Most everybody that's going is a couple. So I'm gonna need two of every single letter. This only has one of each letter. So I had to get a bunch, so I got a bunch. But in reality, six, eight of these. So that was literally $8. And then I just picked random paper that was in my paper bin. I didn't buy new paper. I picked a solid because I wanna have a solid layer first. Then I picked a bright fun print. Then we'll do the sticker. I also printed out every person's name and address and all that stuff. One side will have their last initial sticker and the other side will have their contact information. So heaven forbid their suitcase gets lost, all their contact information will be on their luggage tag so that the airline can call them and say, hey, we have your bag, we're gonna put it in the mail to you. I don't, I don't really think that's how it goes, but contact information is a must on a luggage tag. So what we need to do, let's see, how big did I make everybody's name? I don't know. Two and a half by one and a half. I think I was feeling like a luggage tag was like three by two. Three by two, let's see if we like that. I do wanna layer it to, so you can see the cute paper borders. So maybe I'll do three and a half actually. Let's do four because I do wanna do a cute little, you know, like like that. So we're gonna go four long. I'm gonna go two and a half wide. So I brought out my industrial paper cutter and I'm gonna basically just start cutting all my solid pieces and then these layers of paper will be just a hair in. We'll stick the sticker and then the, the label and then we're gonna laminate them. 
So yeah, let's get to cutting. So I don't need to mark. I love paper trimmers because there's measurements already there. I'm gonna start at this end and I said two and a half. Let's go three. Let's go three by four. I know, I'm changing my mind every time, but that's the beauty of DIY. You can change your mind whenever you want. So I'm gonna go three wide, four long. That's what I'm gonna do. Boom. And this is 12 by 12 cardstock. Even though we're laminating it, I still wanted them to be a little bit more thick. I just didn't want to use like regular old. I picked a cardstock. Oh, look at that. I should have known. 12 divided by three gets you four out. Making the most of our paper. I think I can stack it. Maybe we'll do two. We'll stack two. Four inches on the long. Perfect. That is going to be the size of our luggage tag. Nice and big and easy to see in the sea of black suitcases. Ooh, one sheet gets me 12. Okay, sweet. Now that I have my base of the three inch wide by four inch long luggage tag cut, I do wanna make the cutie pie little angled cuts at the top. And unfortunately, I tried to figure out how I could do that without measuring and getting them even just by like, psh, psh, but there wasn't a way for me to do that. So we have to take some time and measure. Since we know, these are three inches wide. Clearly our center point is one and a half. Make a tiny baby dot at three quarters from the left corner in and at three quarters of an inch from the right corner in. Just a baby dot. Then I am going to measure down one and one quarter inch. That's just the angle I decided that I liked. So now in my paper cutter, I'm going to put my paper at an angle and I'm going to line my blade up with my top dot and my bottom dot. And now I am going to hack it. Yay. Then I'm just gonna turn it and I'm gonna line my dot on the blade there, angle my paper, and line my bottom dot up on the blade there, and hack it. And voila, we have a cute little luggage tag. Look at that. So this shape is gonna set the tone for all of our other shapes. I was glancing over here because I was like, did I make this big enough for these giant letter stickers? Why yes, yes I did. Whew. You know me, measure once, cut 80 million times. Now I gotta cut these angles on all of the rest of my squares. While I'm cutting these angles, I decided that I was like really lit because I brought my ring light out that we DIY'd the last time. I've never used it to video yet, so I lowered the lighting on it because, you know, it definitely has the handy remote control. Now maybe I won't be so like, ah, bright. Point of the story is, we're still cutting angles. We're measuring in from left and right at three quarters, and then we're measuring down left and right one and a quarter inches. We're lining up those dots in our paper cutter. Boom, and boom. Yay, this shape is super cute and I am loving it. So this is the base for our luggage tags. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep trimming those cute little angles. Now, if you didn't wanna take the time to do these cute little angles, you don't have to. This is a perfectly fine shape for a luggage tag too. But I don't know what you're thinking because you know we're extra on This Is Real Life. We take the time to make everything look perfectly awesome. It's not that hard. Just make little dots and go, go, go. And you're probably not needing to make 24 custom luggage tags, so it won't take you as long. So that's a plus. Okay, so now we have our bases done, and next up we need to do our printed piece. You can decide. You can do a layer of the print on both sides, or you could just do a layer of the print on one side with your initial, and then on the other side, this would be just solid 
with your address information, which might look cute and stand out more. We'll try, we'll see what it looks like. Because our base is three inches wide by four inches long, and we want to have a border of our base showing so that we don't just cover that up with print, we wanna make our print a little bit smaller, maybe like a quarter inch border all around. So I'm gonna shorten my print measurements by a half an inch all around. So instead of three by four, I'm gonna make it two and a half by three and a half. And we're gonna see if we like what that looks like. Let's go and cut at two and a half wide. I'm just gonna do one for now to see if we like the measurement by three and a half long. Obviously, we're gonna cut off our edges. Oh yeah, I like that. That's a cute border. We need to cut our little chingaderas, but first, let's cut all of these at two and a half by three and a half. We've trimmed all of our paper to two and a half by three and a half. These ones I miscut. So those are scraps. Now we have to get our angled cuts so that it fits nicely in there. We know this is two and a half and half of two and a half is one and a quarter. So we'll call that the middle. Do I come in the same amount? I don't think so. Let's see, half and half. Oh no, you go the same amount. So three quarters from left and right on your down, you're gonna go an inch and a quarter and an inch and a quarter down, boom. And same thing, I'm gonna line up my dots, my top dot and my bottom dot at an angle and pack them. And now this piece should fit perfectly. <sighs> Why is that so cute? Yay, there we have the front of our luggage tag. The back may or may not look exactly the same. I can't decide. Let's just cut this one and test it real quick and see what we think. Let's pretend these were glued together. Print and print, or solid and print. Uh, can't decide. Okay, here's gonna be the test. Let's pretend this little piece is the address. Boom, boom, or boom, boom. Ooh, that settles it, print, print. So, every luggage tag is going to have a solid center sandwiched between two prints. Yay, twice the work, <laughs> I'm so excited. So now that we know that, let's get to uh, trimming these edges. So I have way more orange pieces than I have print pieces, that's okay, um, because I have all of this here too. I'm actually going to cut all my solid pieces and then cut my print pieces so that I have a stack solid and a stack of the print so we can figure out exactly how many luggage tags we're going to get out. I'm gonna try to just hack these three together in the paper cutter at three inches wide and four inches across. And then that way we'll have everything we need and then we can just assembly line this shit. Okay, I have all my solid pieces cut. I only need 24 and I know I'd cut way more than 24 solid pieces, so it's gonna come down to the print. For 24, I need 48, so I'm gonna have to go into my paper drawer because there's no way I'm getting 48 pieces out of what I have here. So we're gonna trim these and then I'm gonna count to see how many we have. Okay, so as it turns out, with those three designed paper, I actually have exactly enough to do 24 luggage tags. However, I only have enough to do four of the blue and the orange and six of the green. I didn't want these four, whoever got these, to be like, oh, we got like the scraps because there's only four of this one. So anyways, I ran and got two more sheets of paper so I can mix the luggage tags around. So I'm gonna cut these two pieces real quick and then recount which ones I wanna actually do. Now, if you're like, oh, Sherry, I love that paper right there. Where'd you get it? Yeah. 
Clearly right here at the bottom of this paper, it says copyright 2006. I got this a hell of a long time ago. Remember when scrapbooking was really in? You went to scrapbook parties and you had to have all of the stationery and all of the stickers and all of the ribbons and all of the die cuts and all of that. Yeah, that was me. I have eight thousand million pieces of scrapbooking paper. I think I scrapbooked a half of a vacation album and that was it. But I sure should have all the supplies in case I want to start scrapbooking again. Point of story is, if you like any of these papers that you're seeing other than the solids, uh, yeah, I can't tell you where I got them because the store is probably out of business at this point. We're gonna call these vintage. <gasps> these are DIY vintage luggage tags to be sold for millions of dollars. Okay, back to cutting. Seriously, we're never gonna get anywhere. Here we go. Okay, so I cut out way more paper than I needed, but that's okay. The uh, organized part of me wanted to make sure that each couple got a matching set of luggage tags. I have four in this pattern, four in this pattern, four in this pattern, six in this pattern, and six in this pattern. Three couples will get this pattern, two couples will get this, two couples will get that, two couples will get that, and three couples will get that. And that works out to 24. So, yay. Now, all I have to do is make all of these look like this by cutting the angles. I'm gonna assembly line it, so I'm gonna move my paper cutter out of the way and just measure, 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 and then cut, 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 cut. That is gonna go much smoother and much faster. Okay, so now that the tedious and boring process of measuring and cutting is completely done, now we're moving on to the tedious and boring process of getting this stuck to this. Because I'm going to run these through a laminator, I'm not super concerned with glue sticking, like getting the edges all down, no. I'm literally going to take some double stick tape, take a little tiny piece off, stick it to the back of that, and put it to that. Not even like that much of it. You can probably not even see it. Stick it there. Try to center this as best as possible. Oh yeah, that's good. Like I said, we're running it through the laminator, so we just need something that's gonna just hold it so it doesn't fall apart. Boom, center it, eyeball it, nudge it, and press. That's what we're gonna do to all of these. Boom, let's just keep double stick taping. How about that? And if you didn't wanna use double stick tape because you didn't have any, I just happen to have this on hand, you could just take a glue stick and go vroom, which I do have some glue sticks in case I run out of this double stick tape because I don't think I have very much of this to do all of these. So we might be moving on to glue stick as soon as we're out of double stick tape. Now that that is all done, what I wanna do, cause I'm extra, you could totally leave them squared off and that would be so fine. But I just so happen to have this like round corner punch. So what I wanna do is I wanna stick just the bottom corners into the round corner punch thing and then just round off those edges. Look at me, beauty guru. Nice rounded edges with our round corner punch, which will only take a split second. So we're gonna round corner punch these right now. Okay, so when we started this project, it was daylight. Not that it's like super dark, and I started it late in daylight, but now it's dark, dark. So yeah, but anyways, now we're on to the fun part. I already went ahead and cut out all of my address labels and have a fixed those to the back side of each one of the luggage tags. Now we need to get our stickers that we got at the Dollar Tree, get everybody's last initial and put them on this side. I know my last name starts with an N. Carefully heal the N, center it, eyeball it, place it. Oh my God, so cute, super cute. So there's one. 
at that. I didn't even realize it. I didn't need to buy nearly as many <laughs> sticker sheets, dum dum. I have a lot of extra letter stickers left. Okay, so going on to this side and sticking it down. Yay. Done. All right, let's move on to this person. Their last name is a C. And I like how the letters like aren't matchy. They're popping right off the sheets. I love it. <gasps> They're so cute. Ah, I love them. Yay. Okay. <gasps> Cutesy tootsy. Oh my gosh, I just can't get over how dumb I was and bought like eight of these when I didn't need to. That looks cute. Great. So this is what I'm doing. Find their letter, stick it on, and finish up the rest of these. Okay, so all the stickers are stuck, and I only overbought five sheets. Pro tip, bring your address list, or at least know all the last names of the people that you're making these for so that you don't overbuy the stickers. Moving on to the fun part. I am heating up the laminator, which I borrowed from my work. I don't own this, but I don't think that they are that expensive. I feel like I've seen them at the Walmart. You could probably get them on Amazon as well, just like everything else in your life. And then they sell all different sizes of these laminating pouches. This one happens to be five by seven. So I'm hoping I can fit two per pouch, but I don't know. <gasps> I can, yes, perfect. I wanna leave a nice edge around each one. If you trim your laminate exactly where your paper is, you won't have any sticky laminate part holding it together. You're gonna to put these into your little sleeve and run it through. And you don't have to shove it, it'll do all the work. I'm literally just holding it so that my little luggage tags don't move around. And when I do laminating, I like to run them through two times. I think I saw that on some like invitation crafter person. She ran her sheets through two times. So we're gonna run that through one more time. I love laminators. If my work didn't have one that I could borrow all the time, I would for sure go out and buy one. I, I would laminate everything. Like I need to return it to my work immediately after doing a project because I will seriously walk around the house and be like, oh, I think I need to laminate that. I think I need to laminate that. My biggest thing is making sure there's no lint inside because if there's a lint inside, it's trapped forever. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and run these through the laminator. Kinda just let it do its thing. I did up the laminator to five. I still am gonna run these through two times. I don't know, it just makes me feel safe. The invitation girl did it and so I'm gonna do it too. So now that we've run them through the laminator two times each, they are ready to be trimmed. For that, I am going to use my little paper trimmer here. These aren't in here perfectly straight, so I'm gonna have to, you know, pay attention. So I wanna cut them in half first and trim. Perfect. So now I'm just going to go along and leave like, I'm eyeballing it. I'm just leaving a little bit of extra laminate so that I'm not trimming right up to my paper edge. I'm leaving a laminate edge. Once we're done with that, I'm gonna use my quarter rounder punch and actually punch the bottom corners of the laminate round. So now those are round, so that is technically the luggage tag. But after we trim them all, we're also going to hole punch a hole so that we have something to put our string through so that they can put it on their actual luggage. Isn't that cute? So I'm gonna trim, 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 then hole punch, hole punch, hole punch, hole punch, hole punch. That's it, and it's literally, I'm just eyeballing it. Trim. Now this is my life. It's pretty speedy. Yay! So they're all trimmed and the only thing left to do is corner round them, hole punch them, and then tie on, I got this elastic stretch cord to tie on to each one, and then they'll be ready to travel the world. Ah, oh, there we go. Woo, that lamination is thick and durable. Okay, so it doesn't need to be horribly long, and because this is stretchy, you can go loop-de-loo. I'm just going to Take a snip, 
I am not. So voila, there we have our luggage tag. And now, you know how you do that fancy thing on your luggage where, like let's say this was my luggage handle, because this is elastic, I can bungee that through, boom. Look at that, serious. So yeah, I just need to cord around, pull punch, tie the strings through the rest, and then we'll be done and show, I mean, this pretty much is the final reveal, but you know, the final reveal on a piece of luggage. These are so cute, by the way. I'm a really good friend slash hostess, that's all I have to say. So they're all corner rounded, hole punched, and I ended up cutting 12 inches of elastic for each one of them and tying a double knot in each one. Loving every second of them. We've got the initial on the one side and we've got the address information on the other side. So your bag is for sure not to get lost with these super amazing custom DIY luggage tags. And you can customize them however you want. Any paper, any stickers, any size even. It's durable, it's lasting, it's a wonderful luggage tag. So you should totally make some. Okay, seriously, how cute is that luggage tag? I mean, come on. So custom, so cute, so eye-catching when it's going around the conveyor belt. I think it is darling. Okay, everyone, that is it for this DIY Wednesday where we made completely custom luggage tags. Make one for yourself, make one for your family, make one for your friends. They're super cute. You can give them away as holiday gifts or just make them for fun and hand them out to your coworkers. I don't know. They were pretty easy to make. I made 24, so it did take a while. You probably won't make as many as I did, so it should take you like nothing and what did it cost us five bucks maybe so i'd say that's pretty good we're pretty amazing we haven't gone down any in our amazingness everything we do is fucking money these luggage tags just prove that point again if you like this video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel be sure to ring that notification bell because i push out a new diy wednesday video every other wednesday at 5:30 pacific standard time so if you have that notification bell rung you won't miss a one also share this video with your family and friends and as always thanks for hanging out